St. Gianna Oratory presents Daily Thought to St. Francis de Sales for March 22nd. So you want to know the best time to serve the Lord? It is the present time, which is in your possession here and now. The past is no longer yours. The future has not yet come and is uncertain. The best time is really the present, which you should spend in serving God. If you want to recover lost time, do your best with fervor and diligence and the time that still remains to you. From the life of St. Francis de Sales. On March 22, 1599, he was then 32 years old, Francis de Sales was examined in a public consistory by Pope Clement VIII, assisted by several cardinals and by 20 other important people, among whom were prelates, archbishops, bishops, and superiors of religious orders. The great reputation of our saint had already attracted many other people outstanding for their merit and doctrine. The numerous and august assembly was so imposing that a Spanish prelate, who also had to undergo the examination on the same day, was so awestruck that he fainted. Confiding solely in God, the humble Francis de Sales courageously kept his calm and presence of mind. Kneeling down in the midst of the assembly, as was the custom in this ceremony, Francis was first asked by His Holiness, What subjects have you studied? He replied, Sacred theology, canon, and civil law. The Pope continued, In which of these areas do you wish to be examined? Francis replied, Whichever His Holiness desires. In a severe tone, an examiner retorted, You make the choice, since it has been left to you. Francis humbly replied, Since sacred theology is more in keeping with my vocation, I will try, with the help of God, to give my answers to whatever is proposed to me. Commencing the examination, the Pope put forth several questions. Then Cardinals Borromeo, Baronio, Borghese, the learned and saintly Father Bellarmine, and other examiners presented some very difficult questions, thirty-five in all, to which he replied with admirable precision. He resolved subtle objections to his answers with precision and clarity. His brisk but humble demeanor aroused admiration in his hearers. The Pope, who listened to him with pleasure, ended the examination by proposing several difficulties. Among other things, he asked if bishops could absolve from heresy. French de Sales replied in the affirmative, according to the definition of the Council of Trent. Since that power had just been revoked, the Pope replied, My son, this is not in accordance with my intentions. Then Francis, with modesty and deep reverence, said, Holy Father, if your holiness revokes this dispensation, I accept your position and abandon the old. This act of humility on the part of the holy priest was no less edifying to the assembly who had so admired his learning and the exactitude of his reasoning. No one we have examined until now has given us such satisfaction, said the Pope. Counting down, coming down from the throne, he approached Francis, who was still kneeling, embraced him, and with tears of joy uttered aloud the words of Proverbs, Drink water from your own cistern, running water from your own well. How may your water sources be dispersed abroad, streams of water in the streets. From Proverbs 5, verse 15. The prelates present at the examination joined the Pope in offering their congratulations. All the city of Rome resounded with the praises of the new bishop, and the most famous personages considered it an honor to make his acquaintance. <laughs>